hey beautiful faces welcome back to my channel and in today's video i will be showing you how to bleach your knots on your lace frontal things that you would need you would need bw2 powder lightener i am using the brand clairol's professional you will also need a developer i have 20 in your pure white cream developer miscellaneous tools you will also need a mixing bowl and a mixing utensil also need your favorite shampoo and conditioner you will also need shimmer lights this is optional but i strongly suggest that you use this because it will cut down on some of the brassness that might take place while you're trying to lift the knots on your frontal you will also need some reynolds wrap to cover your frontal once you're done applying your product and of course you will need your frontal or your closure let's get started and here i'm just showing you the knots on the frontal as you can see those little tiny black dots there that is what you're trying to lift that is what you're trying to bleach so it can look as natural as possible and as close to your scalp color as possible so with that let's get started with mixing the product i'm going to take a scoop and a half and place that in my mixing bowl for face please be mindful that this stuff is very strong so make sure you have a window open or all of your doors because it will kill you I will now go in and pour my developer in. Now I'm just going to eyeball this. Usually the ratio is one to one. And I'm just going to mix it until it's, I feel like it's thick enough to go onto my front. So you do not want this to be runny. You want it to be thick as possible. But you also want to make sure you mix it well. And as you can see, it's not falling from my mixing tool and that's how you want it to be so now i'm just going to go ahead and comb all the hair down on my frontal to make sure no hair is sticking up and i'm just going to go in and begin to place the product onto my frontal you you want to be really careful when you're doing this because you do not want the product to bleed onto your hair and if you do this then you're going to have some bleach roots and you do not want that your only goal is to try to bleach your knots to get them to match the color of your scalp so i suggest patting this on um i did do some patting motion i also did a little bit of rubbing as well as you can see here i am rubbing the product across kind of spreading it like you know you would put peanut butter on a piece of bread and you want to make sure you get all the knots on your frontal please use a light hand being very careful making sure it do not bleed through so now you just want to place this in your um reynolds wrap and let it sit for a little while now i let mine sit about 10 minutes i did not want it to get too dark so as you can see i'm putting it against the reynolds wrap and you can kind of kind of see the color into my frontal so i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to rinse the product off which i already did i'm going to go in with my shampoo now I didn't have any neutralizing shampoo to restore the natural pH and prevent damage, but this will be okay. It'll be just fine. Well, at least I hope so. And you want to wash your closure or your frontal in a downward motion, especially when rin rinsing the product off your closure in the beginning you want to make sure you rinse it down so some of the soda bleach will not get onto your hair so now i'm going to go ahead and use my shimmer lights to make sure i can cut down on any brassness that may have taken place while i was lifting the knots on my frontal and as you can see it did turn so now go ahead and apply your shimmer lights we're going to do this and we're going to allow this shampoo to sit on the hair for 10 minutes let it sit for 10 minutes and 
and now we're going to rinse this out and once we rinse this out we're going to repeat the process with the shimmer lights but this time we will rinse it out immediately repeating the process and we just rinse this out immediately and now I'm just going to go in with my she keratin shampoo and I'm just going to wash her again and all of these steps are necessary to ensure that your frontal is clean and that all of the product is washed out squeeze the excess water out and you're all done your frontal is now ready for install as you can see my knots they are bleached as you can see they're like a skin tone color now i didn't hit all of the spots but i do not want to go back in i think this would be just fine and whatever black spots that i may see i can just go back over with my concealer but as you can see it really did bleach and it did pretty good or i did pretty good so now i'm just going to go back in with my she keratin conditioner and place it all over the frontal and then you know the routine wash it out for faces that is it there's nothing to bleach in your your frontal or your closure the process is very easy and you can't go wrong just be mindful of the time when you if this is your first time try letting the the product sit on your frontal or your closure for about seven minutes and you can put it against some white paper to see if it's turned if it's not to your liking you can let it sit a little bit longer and for this frontal i let the product sit on for about 10 minutes and it lifts pretty well And there you have it, beautiful face. You have bleached the knots on your frontal. And as you can see, beautiful face, it's perfect. It bleached perfect. It matched my skin tone very well. So, as always, beautiful face, until next time, until the next video, bye-bye.